welcome back to another adventure with Charlie's Adventures. Uh, I ain't hunted in uh, about three or three weeks now. It's December the 16th. And uh, that last day I sat, I got wet and then I got sick. And I'm just now getting over it. Uh, me and Ashton come up here today and uh, sat for a good while. It's uh, 1.44 now. Ashton uh, shot over here and he texted me to uh, come over to him. And I think he's got a deer down. He's uh, sent me uh, a waypoint on Onyx to show me where he's at. He's wanting me to go get his four-wheeler and then uh, bring it down. I don't know why, unless he's planning on trying to take it back there to get the deer. But uh, I'm getting ready to head over here and see what he's got and uh, go over there to him. I dropped my phone. Stay tuned. Right here is Mr. Ashton. Is he a pretty good one? I believe we're turning this episode into Ashton's Adventures. Oh shoot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Deer on the ground. Deer on the ground. Or we tell you no lie. Or we tell no lie. <laughs> There's a proof wow. in the put. Boys a dandy. Sure, what a big body deer. Well, you got anything to say? Ashton? To the audience? I'd like to say thanks to the sponsor. <laughs> Charlie Devant, for this episode, please. Congratulations, son. Thank you, there. <laughs> He's been a rubbing, ain't he? Yes, sir. He's been rubbing. Folks, we had this deer on camera. He's got pretty tall time, but. but Ain't got much brow time, but boy, yeah, he sure been marked. Boy, he is a dandy. Congratulations, Ashton. Thank you. So looking to make sure the camera was recording. We drag that thing a long way. And uh, it was about to kill me and Ashton both. Me and him both out of shape. And he ended up bringing it four-wheeler around here and getting it the rest of the way and uh, probably going to be a tall order getting it on out of here We had this deer over at the Mineral Lake in Velvet. We thought he was going to be a 10 point. The right side didn't ever develop. The left side did. It's about an inch, so we're going to call him a 9 point. I am. I don't know if Ashton is or not. He's got decent mass, good body size deer. I'm happy for him today. He's been needing, to, wanting to kill a deer or something terrible. And, uh, it finally come through for him today. We've got a 
a real good story on this hunt and about this deer. All right, I'm gonna fix his rope and stuff up and uh, then we're gonna head out of here. I got his tree stand situated and I took his seed off and bringing it with me. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. I'm sure he, the less these seats gets wet, the better. That's what I think. Sounds like he's about around there to the food plot. He killed this deer about, I don't know, 600 yards from the food plot, but there's nothing in the food plot. The food plot didn't have nothing to do with him killing this deer, but. Tell you what, that, uh, Rencon doing a good job hauling that thing out of here. It's a 650 Rencon. He bought that four wheeler and it had problems, and, or we did. And uh, he's got it all ironed out. I originally bought it, but I, I think he's wanting it, so. And he paid for it, and I never did pay him back, so I guess more or less it's his four-wheeler. <coughs> he drove all the way to Kentucky to get it. And uh, he told me it was a good deal. I didn't really think it was, but it ended up being a good deal. All right, stay tuned. Right here's the food plot. Hogs has got one heck of a waller in it now. You can tell there ain't nothing in it. But we're back about back to the side by side. Stay tuned. All right, we got him up here to the gap. Pretty good deer. I think that's the best deer that we've got to date pretty good mass on him. 